Hi, I'm Dr. Faith Kreitzer, Food Safety Extension Specialist at the University of Tennessee. And I've been involved with the project with my colleagues at UT and North Carolina State University evaluating some novel organic sanitizers for post-harvest wash systems. Today we're in an organic packing house. Let's take a look at some of the common practices that are used in post-harvest production. First, let's take a minute to consider what is a sanitizer and why is it an important part of the post-harvest process? Many types of produce from the field must be washed prior to sale to remove dirt and debris. Depending upon their size and scale, producers may use dump tanks, spray bars, or large bins to wash fresh picked produce. While this step is designed to wash off dirt, if bacteria are present on the surface of produce, those bacteria will be washed into the water. This can be a food safety issue if pathogens on the surface of the produce are washed off and dispersed into the water or onto a conveyor belt. If this happens, other produce could be contaminated by the pathogen now in the water or on the belt. We refer to this mode of pathogen contamination as cross-contamination. Sanitizers are incorporated into the water to drastically reduce the possibility of cross-contamination by inactivating the bacteria that are introduced to the wash water. Since it is impossible to visually determine if pathogens are on the surface of produce, growers must have good practices, such as incorporation of sanitizers, in place to safeguard against cross-contamination whenever washing produce. Let's take a look at a couple of common sanitizers available to organic producers. Chlorine is a commonly used sanitizer to reduce the risk of cross-contamination during post-harvest washing. Chlorine is an option for organic growers being an approved sanitizer by the National Organic Program, or NOP. There are multiple product delivery systems that are able to introduce chlorine as a sanitizing agent. Calcium hypochlorite comes in powder tablet form, and sodium hypochlorite is available as a liquid. When these compounds are added to water, the chlorine salts dissolved and forms hypochlorous acid when the pH is neutral, that is pH 7. It is hypochlorous acid that actually kills bacteria. If the pH increases to alkaline, hypochlorous acid concentrations will decrease. Therefore, it is important to measure the free chlorine content and the pH of your wash solutions to make sure you have enough available free chlorine in the form of hypochlorous acid. You will want to do this at startup and at least every two hours of constant running. More frequent checks may be needed if organic matter is accumulating in your system. Remember, when it comes to chemical use, the label is the law. Read and abide by the label guidelines. Check your product's label to assure it has an EPA registration number and to determine the appropriate concentration and contact time for washing produce. Be aware, as the amount of organic matter increases in the water, the effectiveness of chlorine decreases. Organic matter accumulation mostly includes soil, particles, and plant material. Constant and careful monitoring of the concentration of the sanitizer in use and adjustments as needed are essential for ensuring the effectiveness and minimizing pathogen risk. The NOP requires a final potable water rinse with no more than four parts per million free chlorine. This is the maximum concentration allowed in municipal water supplies. Another commonly used sanitizer in organic post-harvest washing is peroxyacetic acid, also called PAA. There are a few notable differences between the management of PAA and chlorine in the post-harvest environment. First, the accumulation of organic matter and the increase of pH does not significantly decrease the effectiveness of PAA. The concentration of PAA sanitizer should still be tested as described above. However, a titration kit is commonly recommended as test strips are not that accurate. Finally, there is no NOP requirement for a potable water rinse for produce when washed with PAA. We hope that you've learned why you should use a sanitizer when washing produce and how you can adhere to all food safety practices while adhering to organic production practices.